this is Movie Turn. Leslie Mitchell reporting. <laughs> Many thousands packed into the Headingley ground for the Leeds Test match. How could it be otherwise in Yorkshire? Shocks and surprises were soon being given to the spectators. First of all, Hassett won the toss again, but he put England in. This was interesting, but rain at once began to fall and the start of the match was delayed. Eventually, however, the Australians came out to field, confident presumably that it was a bowler's wicket. Hutton and Edridge followed, and now for the first and very dramatic over, Lindwall to Hutton. The second ball produced the biggest shock of all. Hutton clean bowled for a duck. Watch for the jubilation in the slips. <laughs> Graveney took Hutton's place and promptly broke his duck. Now Lindwall to Edrich, who played out the over. Miller at the other end was typically aggressive, but Graveney was able to cope. Now Lindwall to Edridge, and an LBW appeal disallowed. Then, after an hour and 20 minutes, Miller got him LBW for 10. Certainly a disastrous start to the test. Compton came in at this extremely awkward juncture, but he was only destined to stay at the wicket for 10 minutes. Lindwall got Compton caught by Davidson for naught. Another shock for England, and the scoreboard looked worse than ever. Then Davidson had a spell of bowling. He must have felt pretty good, quite apart from the match, for he just had the news of the birth of his son. Lindwall to Watson, yes, it was Yorkshire to the rescue, and another LBW appeal, not out. Graveney went on to complete his half century. It was lucky for England that he did. Next, just to remind everyone that this was still the English summer of 1953, down came the rain again. It was Miller who eventually sent Grinney back to the pavilion after a sterling knock of 55. Simpson took his place and looked confident. Very soon, however, he was hit on the elbow and had to retire hurt. Lindwall accounted for England's next disaster, not only taking Watson's wicket, but damaging the Yorkshireman's foot in the process. No doubt about it, things looked very black. Evans now, and he at once started to score. Was this to be a stand with Bailey, who had followed Simpson? No, Bailey was run out for seven and hurt himself when he fell. Headingley had seen plenty of thrills, but they were thrills of the wrong sort for England, who reached a total of 167 in their first innings. <laughs>